Baby Jean here with a review on the Double Sentai Ju Ujur Juo Cube 1, 2, 3, Double Skuntai DX Juo King. Yes, friends. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Right here it says Double Sentai Ju Ujur right here. And right here it says Juo Cube 1, 2, 3, uh, Double Skuntai DX Juo King. And of course, got a nice shot here of Juo King himself. And of course, the transformation right here. On top of the box, got a nice shot of the Juo Cubes here. Real nice here. On the top, on the bottom of the box, got a nice shot of the five jewelers and the cubes here. On the side of the box here, got a nice shot of the uh, jewel cubes and their stats, along with the uh, jewel eagle, jewel shark, and jewel lion, and of course, jewel king right here. On the other side, got an, uh, a nice shot of the the cubes stacking together. One, two, three. And on the back of the box, friends, it just pretty much shows you everything you'll see in this review. So this let's get to it. King sword. Uh, this is pretty much the uh, sword that goes through the three cubes after they are stacked. But uh, here's uh, a look at the face here. This is where you'll see Jewel King's face. And I think this sword will be used for a future combo. The Talking about the big uh, King sword. And then, uh, here is the King sword itself. And so uh, basically you just uh, have to go ahead and put it in the top here. And you're pretty much done here. Uh, cube Eagle, and of course, this is him in his cube mode. As you can see, he's got the number one right here. Uh, nothing really too uh, spectacular about it. All you can see, you got the clips right here. And then here's the part to the mecha. And then, uh, pretty much same thing here. So his transformation uh, from cube to uh, Doboots mode is uh, pretty much simple. All you gotta do is lift up the eagle head here, and there you go. So pretty much, as you can see, this is a spring-loaded uh, gimmick here. You can see the springs right there. And uh, next we need to do is go ahead and slide these panels out to interact as wings. And so here he is, friends, uh, uh, Cube Eagle. This is Jewel Eagle's Mecha. And uh, as you can see, he's really nice looking. Got the uh, a nice uh, gold here on the beak here. And uh, his eyes are in green here and got some white here on the top. And his body is all in red here, as you can see. And then here is the top part. Really nice here. We've got a whole bunch of clips here. And so pretty much for like uh, future uh, Dobus Pesos. But uh, anyway, as you can see here, now this is what really gets to me is uh, these. Uh, these are the arms to uh, Juo King. And I wish they would, cl uh, you know, just clip like this instead of just sticking out like that. But sadly, that's not the whole case here. But I guess, I guess they felt they wanted to interact as a as boosters for uh, Cube Eagle. And then uh, there is the hole where you can slide the Big King Sword. And I do like him. Uh, and I will say this: uh, doing the uh, transformation from Cube to uh, Double Mode to Jewel King are very, very simple. And I will say that a lot in this review. So get used to that. But. Uh, Anyway, so all around nice. I do like Cube Eagle. I really do. Cube Eagle. Now the next cube, and that's Cube Shark. And as you can see, got the number two right here. Uh, like I said, none too spectacular. Pretty much in the cubes, you'll just see plainness. But when you see them in that double mode, you'll see more color and you know uh, more uh, lookness to it. I guess. I guess that's a word for it. Here is the uh, part to the mecha here. As you can see, got some, uh, got a splash of yellow right here, and some white, and some black, and some silver right here. And you can see right here, got a face of a shark right here, pretty much. And that's pretty much it. So, getting it into this double mode is very easy. Uh, and then there's a hole for the big king sword. So basically, we'll go ahead and just take these out. These are two shark heads, and they combine together. Then this will pop out. I don't know if you guys saw that. Let's go ahead and just close it back up one more time. This is, uh, this is fun. But I'm going to go ahead and open up the shark head and this will pop out. And there you go. Then you have these, the back fin and the uh, big fin popping out. And so here he is, friends. This is uh, Cube Shark. This is Jewel Shark's mecha. I like uh, Jewel Shark. I mean, a like Cube Shark. Really nice here. Look, look at the yellow on the top here and got the red eyes here. Look at Shark Mouth. Nicely done in blue and white and got some yellow right here. Um, I kind of feel the ye yellow kind of makes it look a little bit gaudy, you know, and something doesn't fit right with it. But they, they're doing this because of the whole transformation deal. But, uh... And 
and now cube lion and here he is in his cube mode and so uh, as you can see he's got the number three here he's pretty much a, me a mecha full of yellow and uh, black here then uh, here's the side here and then uh, right here this is part the part of the mecha as you can see he got some uh, the red for the eyes here for the lion uh, emblem there and so that's pretty much it so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get him into his dopus mode so pretty much it's easy like I said earlier simple simple have it up like this and then raise up his head here and here he is uh, cube lion friends this is Juo lions mecha and uh, the the lion face looks really really funny looking here like he's very sad or something but as you can see the lion eyes are in red here got some uh, black here for the mane here uh, looks really not he looks <laughs> he looks like a sad line pretty much but I pretty much prefer like I said uh, cube eagle out of the three um, and I think uh, cube shark is like my second but he look uh, uh, cube line looks looks okay um, and of course if you want you can have like the little mini figures that came with the uh, jewel changer to be on top of here and have them riding so uh, really neat there and so, uh, like I said, I like these. And like I said, transformations from uh, cube to doubles mode are simple, simple. And you'll see that whenever I do the doubles guntite with Juo King. Now to revert them back into their cube modes, mainly uh, for the whole Dobu's gun type. So let's go ahead and close, um, put the uh, eagle head back in, slide these panels back in. And so now we'll go ahead and uh, fold these hands in and, and we're going to be doing, we have to do this together here because that's pretty much how it works sometimes. But you, if you can get one in, that's fine. And then here's the other one. And so cube goes back into his cube, uh, cube mode. So uh, pretty much shark easy. Uh, push the tail back in, and the two shark heads split, and there you go. And line here, head back in, and legs back in, and that's pretty much how it is. Now, of course, you can have fun uh, stacking these guys together, and um, of course, that's how it is when you do the gun die to uh, Joe King. But of course, you can do something like this. on top of each other so here's three two and then here is one so now we'll go ahead and as you can see I got one two and three so now let's go ahead and turn this whole thing around and as you can see there is the body to the mecca already assembled there so let's go ahead and zoom in here so this real pretty much requires the big king sword you remember I showed you this earlier so pretty much all you gotta do is just slide it in here and so let me make sure I get a good close up here. And here we go. And then uh, next, all you gotta do is uh, rotate the uh, head to Jewel King. Then he's got the sword, the little, the little king sword. And then uh, make sure the eagle head comes up. And so, anyway, friends, here he is, Jewel King. And I have to say, I really do like this mecha here. Uh, the only thing that gets me is this right here, not giving us the option to have the legs split. But uh, what can you do? But yeah, I do like him. He is really cool looking. And uh, uh, this part right here, I said this in my Eugene's Ramble Time of Double Sentai Jujers. But I did talk about this part here. This part here kind of reminds me a little bit of Minecraft. Um, I know some of you guys out there play Minecraft, but uh, anyway, let's take a look at another angle of this mecha here. As you can see, this is what he looks like now that he's into Jewel King mode. But I gotta say, this guy here is absolutely fun. And what I mean by fun, easy, easy to assemble. You can, you could pretty much assemble this guy so many times in the same mode. I mean, like Shuki said, and I'm going to tell you this in my review, very, very simple. And so he is awesome looking. Of course, I mean, at first, this part here was my one, one gripe. 
but it, this mecha has really grown on me. Now, the one thing I wish they could have done, and this could have been in the plans, had these panels pretty much for the wings of Jewel Eagle, of Cube Eagle come out, that would make the mecha look a little bit better there. And I kind of like it that way. But, um, but we'll take what we got in this way. You are king of okay, friends, I decided to go ahead and throw in Shuriken Jin, uh, pretty much having the 39th and the 40th Sentai mechas together. And so, as you can see, Shuriken Jin is taller than uh, uh, Jewel King. Uh, Shuriken Jin is about uh, 10 inches tall as to uh, Jewel King is in 8 inches uh, tall. So, but he is, like I said, this guy here is just so nice and you can pretty much fiddle around with him and everything. So, he looks really cool there. But, uh, anyway. Before I conclude, friends, let me say this, and I should have said this earlier after the, I completed the transformation of Jewel King, but Jewel King made his debut in episode one of Jujer. So, figure I give you a little info there. So, uh, let's go ahead and conclude well, this friends, review. Final thoughts, as usual, I will say this: I absolutely love Jewel King. His transformation is so so simple, and uh, the cubes and the doubled mode. Simple, simple, simple. I will, I'm going to keep repeating myself on that, but absolutely neat. And I do like the fact that when you do stack the cubes, that's pretty much the formation of doing the Guntite to Jewel King. Stacking them up and uh, stabbing the, uh, the, uh, uh, the big king sword in, and then bam, you got the Guntite. And of course, the one thing I do like is this motif here that it has. You know, you can see he's got the eagle right here, the shark, and the lion. Really nice there. And of course, I do like this right here. Like I said, I'm always referring to it as a Minecraft uh, vibe, but it's really a, a design of a cube, kind of like in a, in a in kind of a way like that. But anyway, I do like this, and I highly, highly recommend this um, this mecha. He is absolutely cool, and um, and um, pretty much I believe uh, HLJ is having issues trying to get them uh, get them in stock right now. They're back on order. But the price is uh, 5,200 uh, yen, I believe. As to, uh, um, to Amiami, I think it's like uh, 7,000 something yen. But anyway, use your own judgment on how much you want to pay for this guy. But be warned, shipping will kind of be on a pricey side because it was, for mine, it was about 20 bucks for the uh, shipping. But I use EMS. So, but anyway, good luck to you guys on f trying to find this mecha. He is absolutely nice. But anyway, with friends, as this for this review, please check out my blog, follow me on Twitter, and to like my Facebook. And friends, it's the review on the Double Sentai Juuger, Juo Cube, one, two, three, Double Guntite DX, Juo King. I hope you enjoy. My friends, I'm Eugene, I'm signing out, and I hope you have a good day. And friends, I most assuredly see you next time. Bye, friends.